This video is all about how to create a blog, whether this is your first time creating a blog or whether you're just looking for some ideas on how to make money with your blog, you're in the right place. I'm Kate Murray and you're watching The Daily Digital. First things first, yes, you can start a blog for free, but if you want to make money from your blog, you cannot use a free blog. There are various restrictions for promotional links using the free blogging platforms. If you're a student and your only plan is to use your blog for a portfolio or putting your resume on the web, then a free blogging platform could work for you. However, you cannot use a custom URL with a free blog. So, for example, your blog address would be www.yourblogname.wordpress.com or www.yourblogname.blogger.com. Kind of ugly, right? You also have a limited use of design themes. That means that you don't have a lot of control over what your blog looks like visually. You'll have a limited use of plugins, which means you cannot connect your blog to your social media or collect email addresses of your visitors. And finally, there are restrictions on the types of links that you are allowed to use, which means you'll be limited in the types of ads and affiliate vendors that you can promote. In short, this means that if you intend to make money from blogging, using the free option is not going to be the best choice. You can start a money-making blog for less than $100. So for the $100 or less that's required to set up a blog the right way, it's just not worth it to do a free one if you plan to blog for the purpose of making money. Now that all that's out of the way, here are the steps that you can use to start your blog as quickly and efficiently as possible. This may seem obvious, but you need to figure out precisely what you're going to blog about. New bloggers often get caught up in the desire to blog about everything that happens in their life. But when you're first starting out, you'll have a really hard time getting an audience to follow your blog if you don't narrow it down to a specific topic. Some examples include travel, food, finance, pets, children, or your knowledge expertise. The best way to make money online is to start by blogging about a specific topic that you have expert knowledge in. If you know how to feed your family by growing your own vegetables and canning, or playing the guitar, or sewing, maybe you'll start a blog that teaches others how to do the same. If you've been working in a business or a position in which you get paid for your knowledge, maybe you know about the law or how to create a math course curriculum for fifth grade. Whatever it is that you have an expertise in, consider starting a blog about that. Now that you know what you're going to blog about, you'll need to choose a name. In other words, you'll reserve a URL. That's called a domain name, and it costs approximately $10 per year. Hosting simply means where your website files are stored. It's not the same as storing a Word document on your own flash drive or your computer. Website files are different. They need to be stored on a remote server with an approved registrar. I've included a link in the comments below this video to one of my affiliate partners where you can get a deep discount on hosting as well as a free domain name and free website security. That's called an SSL certificate, and it's the technology that makes your website protected so that your visitors can feel secure. As soon as you buy your hosting and domain name, you'll be prompted to install the WordPress core files. You'll be prompted to create a username and password to access your WordPress dashboard. Every WordPress dashboard is accessed in the same way. It'll be your domain name, .com slash wp dash login dot php. Once you're logged in, there are five plugins that are very important to load into your WordPress dashboard right away. For more information on each of these five plugins, I've posted a link in the comments below. Be sure to set up the under construction plugin first so that you can work on your website or blog without it being publicly visible until you're ready. Next, you're going to want a theme that represents the overall look and feel of your blog. 
The best way to get an absolutely beautiful website is to purchase a theme that comes preloaded with demo content. That way, all you have to do is change the text and the photos to make it your own. Some themes also allow you to quickly and easily change it to any color scheme you like. It's well worth it to spend an extra $50 or $100 to get a beautiful and professional looking website quickly, although it's not 100% necessary because you can use the themes that come standard with your installation of WordPress. However, if you want people to take you more seriously, including vendors, when it comes to start making money with your blog, the vendors will evaluate your website to make sure that your business is legitimate. Next, you're going to start completing your pages. Make sure you complete at the very least the about page, the main home page, and the contact page. You're going to want to tell people about yourself and what you're blogging about. If you'd like some additional resources, such as how to create your own logo, as well as some stock photos to go along with your blog posts, I've listed the resources in the comments. You can get free stock photos at websites such as Unsplash or Pexels, and if you happen to need stock video, you can get access to over 25,000 HD stock video clips. I've included the links in the comments below. Another resource to overlay text on your photos, you can use a free tool such as Canva. Or if you want more flexibility, PicMonkey has a very low subscription rate and is just like Photoshop, but much less expensive. Once you have your blog all ready to go, I recommend writing at least 10 to 20 blog articles because when people visit your website, they're going to want to have other things to click around and look at, not just one or two articles. Next is the fun part. To start making money on your blog right away, the first step you want to take is to sign up with vendors. These are the companies that facilitate the transaction between the companies that you advertise and you getting paid for it. It's kind of like setting up a bank account. You've got to sign up for your account, choose the businesses that you want to promote, and then that intermediary vendor adds money to your account when people either click on your links or buy the products. The easiest affiliate vendor programs to get started with are ClickBank, Amazon, and ShareASale. There are many companies out there and they really depend on what you're blogging about. So for example, if you're blogging about food, you might be promoting recipe books or meal plan subscriptions or even vitamins on your blog. Whereas if you're blogging about fashion, then you'll promote retail stores like Banana Republic or Macy's. There are literally hundreds of thousands of companies that have products to promote, which you can get paid on. So this is why it's important to really know what topic you're blogging about. This is called your niche. Now, once you sign up for these companies, you'll simply click a button to request the approval to promote different products and services. This is all done through your vendor account. But they do check your URL to make sure you're legitimate before you can get approvals. So if your blog is already up and running and you've posted a few blog posts, this can take as little as 24 hours to get approved, and then you can start promoting these links on your blogs immediately. This is the absolute basics about how to start your blog, but there's a lot more to it. Download my free guide to starting your blog for more detailed information, as well as links to everything that's been mentioned in this video. Then check out some of my other videos including how to get traffic to your blog and increase your chances of getting found in a Google search. Finally, be sure to hover over my name and click that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of your screen so you don't miss out on my best tips for growing a business online.